Now, I swear this wasn't planned, but just as my back door lock starts to become difficult with the key, we lock reached out and asked if I wanted to take a look at their smart fingerprint lock. Um, yes, yes I do. Thank you very much, perfect timing. This is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form, but Wheelock were kind enough to reach out and send me this for free. So thank you for supporting small creators such as myself. A little disclaimer to start with, I am not a locksmith. I am a humble idiot bumbling through life. So please do not take anything, as I say, towards advice to securing your own home. So the idea of this smart lock is to replace the existing barrel to replace the existing barrel in your door with another, which rather than use a key to unlock it, uses your fingerprint, an RFID tag or Bluetooth via an app, thus making it a smart lock with all the benefits that comes with. What are those benefits I hear you cry? Encryption. Someone can get a hold of your key and copy it, but they can't get a hold of your encryption key. Convenience. Being able to lock and unlock remotely to let visitors in when you're away from home is awesome. Keyless entry. You no longer need to worry about carrying a huge bunch of annoying keys. Monitoring. You can clearly see who has been coming and going from your home at any time. Awareness. Increased awareness or more proactive awareness via notifications will allow you to take immediate action. In summary, a, a smart home door lock provides convenience, security and peace of mind by offering advanced features and remote access control. I didn't write that. I didn't write that paragraph at all and AI did. Chat GPT to be exact. What do you think? Let me know, comments down below. So now we know what we're gonna look at and why we're looking at it, let's get in the box and actually look at it. First of all, an obvious sign not to resell the product, which I would never do anyway, especially with something I've been gifted. Next, we have the Gumpf in various languages. We have been supplied three RFID smart tags for locking and unlocking. A cute little Tupperware box, which has the Allen key, screwdriver, and some spare screws. And then we have the WeLock fingerprint smart lock itself, which feels pretty good quality and certainly has a bit of weight to it. Currently, at time of filming this video, this will set you back 168 great British pounds, which seems fair when looking at the cost of similar products, but do, do check the description down below for a link and a potential discount from Wheelock because at time of filming this video, I don't know what they're gonna be offering in ways of discounts. And whilst you're down there, perhaps consider subscribing because it helps me get sent more free stuff to play with. Thanks. So this is the uh, Touch 41 model, which is the fingerprint version, but they also offer a keypad version, both of which can be controlled when away from home via the use of a wireless hub, which is sold separately. And sadly, I didn't get sent one of those. The model I have has been made for the European market and will fit any door between 55 and 100 millimeters thick. And there was a survey I needed to complete in advance of being sent this, which was pretty cool because I had no clue if it would even fit my door. Like I said, I'm an idiot. As you saw, we get three RFID cards in the box, which will allow you to configure each one to lock and unlock, and you can pair a total of 20 cards. As mentioned, this is the fingerprint version, which allows you to register and store up to 100 fingerprints. That's a lot of people coming and going. It has a tiny OLED display, which will show settings, alerts, and the battery status. And speaking of batteries, you will need three AAA batteries for this lock, which will power it for between eight to 10 months, which has been based on around 10 unlockings per day. We'll find out in testing what happens if the batteries run out. It has an IP65 water resistant rating, so it can be used internally and externally, as I plan to. And the app for this is available in iOS and Android. And currently, without the wireless hub, there is no smart assistant integration. So truth time on my part, or the, the technical geeky app stuff doesn't bother me at all, but physically installing this myself does. But after researching how to change a barrel lock online, combined with the gump from Wheelock, yes, I did actually read the manual, I'm confident that I'm gonna be able to do this. You can do this, Scott. Yeah, yes I can. You've got this. Yeah, yeah, I've got this. So? Oh, right, yeah, okay, well. 
Let's go give it a try, shall we? So the first step in the in-store process is to put the batteries into your shiny new smart knock. You'll need to supply these yourself. You do this using the provided Allen key to undo the screw on the fingerprint section and then slide off the metal case. Get your nail right in there to remove the cover and insert the batteries. Then close the cover and secure it with the screw provided. The lock will start to beep when the batteries have been inserted. Now you're ready to install the lock, but before this, you'll need to remove your existing barrel, which should be as simple as unscrewing a single locking bolt with the door open and unlocked. And then the existing barrel should just slide out, allowing you to then slide in your new. Once the barrel is inserted and locked back into place with the original locking bolt, if needed, you can then adjust the length of the barrel by loosening the screw again on the inside handle and then repositioning this to your required length. You can do the same on the outside, but for obvious security reasons, the outside handle cannot be completely removed. And that's it. The part I was most worried about doing myself has now been done. The next part is setting up the lock itself, and you should start by setting up an administrative fingerprint, which you can do by pressing the set button for five seconds until you hear a beep, and then the tiny little screen tells you it's ready for the finger. Scan your finger, in my case, it's your thumb, and job done. Adding someone else's fingerprint will require the set button held for five seconds, the admin fingerprint scanned, pressing the set button once, and then scanning someone else's finger, or a backup finger of your own. Adding an RFID card is just as easy. Check the manual because I can't be bothered to go over it here. To use the Bluetooth unlock feature, you will need to install the app from your app store of choice by scanning the QR code on the lock with your phone's camera, which will take you to their website where you can then click on an app menu, choose iOS or Android, and then be directed to the app store, or just go straight to your app store and search for WeLock. Set up an account if you don't already have one and then bind the lock and the app together by scanning the QR code in the app when prompted and then entering the lock ID which you will find on the original packaging. That's it, that is it. Now you're all done. The process to unlock is the same as locking and is this. Press the button on the lock side, scan your finger or RFID card, twist the knob to engage or disengage the lock and you're done. Listen, if my mum can use this, you will be absolutely fine. So I was really worried about installing this myself, but as you have just seen, it was super easy. So despite being scared, I actually really enjoyed the whole process. So rest at ease. If I can do it, literally anyone can do it. The only problem I personally have with the physicality of the lock is the main locking part of the barrel in the middle is shorter than my existing one. So on the inside of my door, it doesn't quite reach the edge of the fascia on the door handle, which means although it's secure and tight, there is this gap on the underside where the old lock used to be. I want to stress this doesn't affect its use or the security aspect of the lock at all. It is purely cosmetic on my part and right at this very moment in time, I can't really see it. So you know what? I'm living with it. The little screen on the outside, which shows the prompts and battery indicator, has all the info you'll need and the prompts are helpful. So really you don't even need the app, but the screen is hard to see when in bright light, which is also why I struggled to get it on camera. As I mentioned before, the quality of the lock feels very good. It's tough, rugged, and it weighs a fair bit. And when compared visually with my existing barrel, it looks fairly similar. So I have no concerns with the quality of this one at all. It is slightly annoying that I need to press the button in advance of scanning my finger. I would ideally like to just scan my finger on it, but I can see why the button is needed. If it was listening for or sensing for a finger all the time, it would likely kill the batteries very, very quickly. So pressing the button prompts it to read for a finger or a tag. And you don't actually need to press the button if you are using the Bluetooth version unlock on your phone. I would recommend keeping an Allen key and a power bank to hand, as if the batteries run out, you will need to connect the power bank to unlock it. I would also always recommend, purely from my own experience, that you always have another way to get into your home that doesn't require calling a locksmith. The fingerprint recognition has been working fine. There is a one to two second wait, if you can call it that, when holding your finger down, but 
this hasn't been an issue for me and I've been using this for about a week now. The app, other than being used for the Bluetooth unlock feature, was sadly a little pointless as it didn't seem to show any information that made any sense to me. I wasn't able to view who I registered or remove them without knowing which number slot within the lock they were stored in, which obviously I had no idea of. The unlock history in the app never seemed to load any data regardless how close to the lock I was, and the notification icon in the top right hand corner to show me system messages also never seemed to load anything. I really do hope this is purely just a software update in the app as apart from this, the lock was absolutely awesome. It's simple and easy to install and although I didn't think I would keep it, I actually have. It's still on my door to this very day. Keep checking the description down below and I'll update it with any extra information about the app that I get from WeLock. And there we have it, there we have it. My first fingerprint smart lock installed by myself, set up and tested. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. If you have any questions about this or anything else for that matter, then please do let me know down below. And whilst you're down there, that's what she said. Please do consider liking the video, even if you didn't. Subscribing if you aren't already and hitting the bell to get notified of when I upload new videos because it helps. It helps me get sent more free stuff like this to play with and make videos. So yeah, thank you and thank you for watching. Goodbye, internet. Put this chain on me. Like